Now, we need to install some exhaust on our pre-runner Ranger. And since we're running a fuel-injected Coyote motor, there's a couple things we've got to be concerned about. And that's, well, two oxygen sensors. We're going to show you guys the correct location and how to install an O2 sensor bunghole. We're also going to be moving on to the rest of the exhaust. We've got Magnaflow's 3-inch builder kit that we're going to be using. We also went to summitracing.com and got some sanctioned mufflers. We're going to show you guys a little trick on how to weld two pieces of pipe together seamlessly. And here's a little tip. Picture yourself underneath your truck and you got to hold two pieces of exhaust pipe perfectly together. Well, grab a piece of angle iron, slide on two hose clamps, and just tighten them down. They will hold it perfectly straight. And by keeping the exhaust tube perfectly aligned, it makes welding a whole lot easier. This works great when you're working on the bench or under your rig, and the larger the angle iron, the more surface area it covers. This technique works really good on any size pipe or tube. A rule of thumb, as the pipe size goes up, so should the size of your angle iron. And with that joint, that seamless, makes it perfectly easy to TIG weld. Now moving back on to the oxygen sensors. Well, I need to put the bung down here in the collector because that takes the reading from all four of the exhaust tubes. And I already went ahead and marked the location of where I need to drill. So, well, the next step is to just simply drill it out. Now I'm using a step drill that we got from Matco Tools because frankly, it's just a whole lot quicker. And the final size of it is three quarters of an inch, which just happens to be the size of the bung that we're gonna install. Now, it's really important that you weld around this 100% and that it seals, because if there's any leaks here, it's gonna throw off the reading of your oxygen sensor. It's really important that you have anti-seize on the threads and that you torque this down to the recommended torque spec. Now, with this oxygen sensor in, I still gotta do the one on the passenger side, but this is gonna send real-time information into the computer. The computer is going to look at how much air and fuel is coming through the exhaust and adjust from there to make sure it runs perfectly. And I still got all this to put underneath the truck. But before I get to this, I got to put this sensor on the passenger side. 